To the U.S. city of Baltimore now, where work is getting underway to clear the wreckage of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which collapsed after being rammed by a freighter earlier this week. Heavy lift floating cranes have now arrived in the harbor to begin what local officials say will be a daunting cleanup operation. This massive crane is the biggest on the U.S. East Coast, capable of lifting a thousand tons. It's part of the heavy-duty equipment being brought in to clear the wreckage of the Baltimore Key Bridge. The process is expected to take several months. And one of the challenges is that the Key Bridge, which sits on top of the vessel right now, that that weight is somewhere between three and 4,000 tons. So our team needs to cut that truss into sections in a safe, in a responsible, and in an efficient way before it can lift those pieces out of the water. This crane that we're looking at is massive. The thing we also know is this. So is the challenge ahead of us. More than a thousand engineers have been deployed to assess the wreckage piece by piece and to figure out how to remove it. So far, the bodies of two construction workers have been recovered, as search efforts continue to retrieve four others still missing and presumed dead. All six men were of Latin American origin. Immigrant advocacy groups have honored the victims and stressed the critical role of immigrant workers in the U.S. In a country where immigrants are often demoralized, from the floor of the General Assembly to the halls of Congress, here we are reminded once again about the enormous contribution that the immigrants made to this country, how together we U.S. board workers, we build this country. On top of the human tragedy is the financial impact of this disaster. Experts say a new bridge will take years to complete and cost hundreds of millions of dollars.